All right, so I'm re-recording because my cat literally pressed a button and I end up being mute, muted the whole time. Like she jumped onto the desk, pressed the button, muted my mic, didn't realize it was muted, and did a whole video while it was muted. So um, I'll try to give my take a, a, again on this. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, so I want to go ahead and make a public announcement, okay? I, I, this is a PSA. I need you guys to understand something, okay? If I ever get to the point, we're going to watch this video. If I ever get to the point where I'm hating as hard as this dude, I, I want you guys to tell me that I'm doing it, and I need you to tell me in my DMs and say, Clan, you're acting like, not this guy, but the other guy, the guy with the do-rag on. You're acting like him. Delete your channel. And I swear to God I will, because this is absolutely ridiculous. So I've been known on Spurs Twitter and on my channel that like I'm a DeJounte Murray hater, right? Like plenty of people say that now. It's like, oh, you just hate DeJounte, you're just biased. And I'll be honest in saying that I do have certain players that I gravitate towards more than others, right? Like I am a sucker for the high basketball IQ players. So that would be like Kyle Anderson, Derek White, who can do it on both ends of the court. Um, you know, obviously I love me some uh, LeBron, even though, you know, I've, I've been critical of LeBron, but I do love, I do love LeBron as far as what he brings to the game and his, uh, uh basketball IQ. I just love those types of players, right? Jokic. I just love it. I just, I love beautiful basketball. I'm a Spurs fan. You can't hurt me. I mean, Tim Duncan, right? Super high basketball IQ. I just love those types of players. Mono Ginobili, right? Um, so maybe it's going to be a little bit of a bias here. All right. Uh, but with that being said. I will never get to the point where I'm hating on any player to this degree, okay? This is absolutely ridiculous. So this discussion here that we're gonna be looking over is basically what if, okay, it's a big what if. What if LeBron James were to come to San Antonio? What his career would look like? And this guy, uh, the guy with the do-rack, I actually don't know his name. This guy is just absolutely bananas, okay? He, he, is, he is Looney Tunes. When it comes to this i actually wanted to look over this because low is on it and I, i'm actually a fan of Lowe's channels um but yeah so let, let's go ahead and see see what he has to say here Be on san antonio guys keep going point. keep, keep going right. Be, i don't, be I, on san antonio. I don't care if he's on pluto if you ain't built like that you ain't built like that he wasn't built like that you're taking the 2004 lebron james and fast forward in seven years of him with tony parker with Ginobili, with LaMarcus Aldridge, as opposed to a LeBron James who's running around with his only constant as Zadrunas Ilgowskis and Anderson Verge. And, and, but That's who he's running with. But more importantly, with Popovich as well. Not only yeah. Greg Popovich, he's got Mike Brown, who's all he's doing is give the ball to James, get out the way. There is nothing going on in Cleveland in terms of get a ball to James, get out the way. That's not gonna happen in San Antonio. All right, all right, all right, that's gonna happen. This gonna happen. We gotta move forward. That's gonna happen right there. Put me in the tight zone. Put me in the tight zone. Put me in the tight zone. All right, all right, all right, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. We got 1,500 people in here. Okay, so I know it was probably hard to understand because there's a lot of testosterone going on. Okay. You probably couldn't hear them over the testosterone, but let me go ahead and say this. Okay. Um, first and foremost, this guy is, he's, he's off. Okay. Um, to say that LeBron James, if he went to San Antonio, that it wouldn't be LeBron James and get out the way, I guess you're, if he's saying 2014 out, like 2015 out, maybe, but if we're talking previously, like before that, no, no, it would have definitely been LeBron James, get out the way. Um, 2003, I mean, that entire team was give it to Tim Duncan and get out the way. Like that, that, that was the offense. I know a lot of people think of uh, uh, Popovich as the guy we know today who adjusts throughout the, the years and he's continuously changing what he has to do to be successful. But in 2003, around the time where, you know, LeBron James, obviously everyone was knowing who LeBron James was, Around that time, uh, yeah, no, dude. It was straight up, give it to Tim Duncan, get out the way, and, and that was the offense. So it would have been the same thing with LeBron. Now, with that being said, knowing how LeBron James plays, even early on and how he plays, and I mean, he's done his whole career, right? But like his style of play, I don't think that he would have won a championship in 2003, uh, even on the spread. If you replace Duncan with LeBron, I know people use this argument all the time. And they're like, oh, you would have had this many championships. 
you would have had a lot of success, but the way that LeBron James plays, no. I don't think you would have got that championship in 03. Um, sure, if we want to try to rewind time, 99, yeah, I think LeBron could have won on that team. But I don't know. It's just so hard to, like, fit him in and replace him with Duncan because it sounds like that's what they're trying to do here where he says, like, you have Mono Ginobili, you have Tony Parker. Bringing up LaMarcus Aldridge was kind of weird. I don't know why he brought that up. Um, but let, let's look at what the comments has to say here. Um... <laughs> Dude sweating in a dirty do rag, about to pass out from anger. These are the typical typical type dudes that hate on LeBron. It's a little weird, man. I don't understand. I, I don't understand why it's that much emotion behind it. Uh LeBron, Duncan. Oh, they did include this person included Duncan. Duncan, Parker, and Ginobili. They would have won at least four chips in six years. Oh, easily. Yeah, dude. Four chips in six years? I don't even see how you lose. If you got LeBron, Tim, Duncan, Parker, and Ginobili, I don't know how you lose at all. Like, there's no excuse. Like, you don't lose at all. You, you would have won six chips in six years. I, I don't know how you lose that. Um, he showed one quarter stats. It, is that what that was? I couldn't even tell what that was. Hold on. That was one quarter? No way. Hold on. We, 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 we gotta move forward. That's gonna happen right there. Put me in the That was the first quote. Everybody calm down. There's no way he did that. Uh <laughs> he a real hater. Bro in the do rag tripping. Spurs history would definitely be different today. Um, I mean not not tremendously see that's the thing. I, I'm trying to think of it as like because Duncan is such a great player. I'm trying to think like if you replace Duncan with with LeBron, I don't know if our history is like better. <laughs> like, I'm like LeBron James, a phenomenal player, right? It's just his style of play. I don't necessarily know if LeBron James would have brought us more championships than Duncan did. I, I don't think that that's the case, especially 2003, especially that team. Um, let's see, homie is Durag is pure emotion. He way too loud. He reminds me of Stephen A. Smith. Okay. Uh, LeBron would have looked greater on the Spurs because he would have had a system player similar to Jordan and Kobe under Jackson. Bron never played with an all-time great coach, which makes him the highest IQ player ever. Taking rookie coaches uh, to the finals with him being the system was beyond great. He did do that a few times. He did. That Ty Lu when he did it, well, that was not a rookie. I mean, not necessarily rookie, rookie, but like, that Ty Lue run, that was ridiculous. Um, that was pretty impressive. Uh, imagine if he had uh, Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich as a coach. That is true. Okay, with Greg Popovich, he definitely would have had um, some rings. I, I just don't know if you replace Duncan with LeBron, you have more rings. I, I just, I, I can't buy that. Um, what does the 2011 finals got to do with anything? He did have to go far back with that. This is what happens when you just uh, regurgitate talking points and can't think critically. Uh, led three championship teams in points, rebounds, assists, while being his team's best defender and is the only player in history to lead both teams in five five categories. That's yeah, that's pretty impressive. Tickets new name is Skippets. What is that the guy's name? Tickets. He wants to be Skip Bayless so bad. Skip ain't even this emotional. Good God. Braun went to the finals with mops and brooms. Uh, all right, this would be the last ones we look at. Aldridge was on Portland at the time. By the way, he meant to say Tim Duncan. Oh, okay. He meant to say Tim Duncan. Okay. I was like, yeah, well, I mentioned that. I was like, why the heck did he say? That's weird. Uh, I got to block y'all. Dude and Durag says some incredibly off takes. He probably continuously does this. But yeah, I just I just hate this this amount of hate, man. It's, it's like a, it's a certain amount of hate that I don't think is justified, right? Like when I criticize a player, I think it's very justified where I'm looking at like previous behavior, things that they've actually said, things that they've actually done. Like, I don't just sit here and just bring up some random stats at one point in someone's career. Like, it, it's very similar to people that hate on Steph Curry. I can't stand those people that just hate Steph Curry blindly. Like, where people will say, like, Steph Curry isn't clutch because of, like, two instances in his career. Like, it's, like, two instances in the finals that he missed a shot and it's like he's not clutch 
It's like, dude, if you look at the stats, dude is very clutch. And then just recently got the most points in game seven history. What the heck? 50 points. That's absolutely ridiculous. He's absolutely clutch. So I don't know. Um, sorry. I, I, this is a little tangential. I, I don't know. I'm all over the place with this one. I guess I'm a little bit more upset because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not in my right mind space. The fact that I just did another video and it was is all muted but anyways i'll give it to you guys later uh you want to support the channel clan the merch fan.com or become a patron youtube member only two dollars a month i'll give it to you guys later man uh until next time uh yeah